Hey guys, I'm back with another video. If I'm wearing the same shirt as my last video, please disregard it because trust me, I'm just making back-to-back -back videos trying to catch up with you guys and I'm just really energized today. So let's get on into this um, video. You guys probably already know by the title what this video is going to be. It's very different. I've never done a video like this before. So let's get on into it. So basically, I'm doing a story time. I've never done a story time before, and I just wrote it down in my YouTube book probably like maybe two weeks ago and was like, no, I'm gonna give this one a test run, see how it goes, and see how I feel about this video. Um, so yeah, today's story I'm gonna be telling you guys is the story of when I got in trouble for something I didn't do. And this goes back to elementary school. You guys don't know, I am a sophomore in high school, so this is like, a long time ago in my opinion maybe to some people are like that's not that long ago that was like six years ago was it five years ago five or six years ago whatever uh, yeah this goes back to like 2011 maybe 10 2010 2011 I was in the fifth grade we had this assembly kind of thing I guess you could I call it I guess it was like assembly I don't know what it was it was like a concert there you go it was a concert during that was going on during school and it was for all the special kids I um if you guys probably didn't know this or very most likely did not know this but when I was in elementary school I had a friend and um my friend's mom worked at the school and she was actually one of the like teachers that helped out with the special kids and I used to be over there like almost every day I used to be helping them out like after school because I had guitar lessons and stuff so I'd go over there and help them like clean the classroom and stuff and if there was any kids still there then I'd help them take care of them I guess you would say and I also had another friend whose brother was one of the special kids and he was part of that concert that day and now giving you background knowledge on this I was sitting next to one of my friends like I said her brother was part of the concert um, and I was sitting next to her and we're watching the concert and they're like playing like in, like instruments like um, maracas and tamarind tam, tam, you know what I'm trying to say that little thing that you like shake and has like yeah <laughs> um, and like they had like drums and bongos and stuff and they're just like playing them um, to make music and they had everyone all those all the kids were up there that were a part of you know that class all the kids and even some of the teachers were up there to monitor them and you know they're playing the instruments and I'm sitting down our whole class is sitting like on the floor and this was um, a type of concert that everyone from the school came to watch so everyone was there. Our teach, everyone's teachers were there. All the students were there. They had everyone in the cafeteria. That's where we had our auditorium at. It was it was pretty weird. We had our auditorium and cafeteria mixed together. Yeah. So we were all sitting on the floor because whenever we had things like that, every they would just pull out the tables and have us sit on the floor, crisscross applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sitting on the floor with my class and I'm sitting next to my friend. And, you know, we're watching the concert, and next thing I know, like, I was looking at the concert, I see her brother, and, like, the very front, and he had maracas in his hand, and I was like, oh my god, your brother's doing so good, and then she looks at me, and she's like, don't say that, and, like, starts to cry, and I'm like, what did I say? I just told you your brother's doing good, and you just told me to not say that, so you just not, so you want me to say he's doing terrible, he's or not say anything at all. I was very confused for like the rest of the concert. And I was like, okay, whatever, just grab that. I'm just gonna talk to the person next to me on the other side. I don't remember who was sitting next to me. I just remember that it was her. And I don't know who else, but I started talking to like someone else during the whole thing. Um, other than that, I didn't even say anything else besides your brother's doing very good. And after that, she just started crying. And I, next thing I know, um, we're all going up. The concert's over. We went up to the classroom. And when everybody's walking into the door, we're all walking in a straight line. And the teacher pulls me out and she says, why did you make that comment about Jahira's brother? I said, what comment? I gave her a good comment. I told her her brother was doing good. They were like, no, that's not what you said. And I was like, that is what I said. I remember what I said because I was there, of course. And she was like, no, that's not the comment you said. I want to know why you said that. 
rude comment and I said what rude comment like I was confused and everybody was like why'd you say that so I was very confused for like 10 minutes of us getting back in the classroom they're all like everyone's around me like being nosy of course so there's no one um, we had two teachers in our classroom because we was two classes combined so we were like one of the biggest classes and what's it called so the other teacher and everybody, all the students were in one classroom because we had also two classrooms that we shared amongst each other. Um, they, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> but yeah, so they're every, the teachers are talking to me and they're asking me why I did this. And uh, they even pull out students that were witnesses that were there, of course. They, they, were, they witnessed me saying this comment. And I still don't know what I said at all. So they're like, okay, so since you're not gonna own up to it, we're calling the principal. And I'm like, the heck, why are you guys calling the principal? So I was sent to the principal's office and she was talking to me and asked me why I said this comment and still no one told me what the comment was. So I'm like very confused and I'm sitting there like I, I'm sitting there shaking my leg because I've never been in the principal's office ever before in my life. And I'm sitting here, it's my first time in the principal's office for something I didn't even do. And, and my I was very ticked off because of the fact that why out of all people that were talking it had to be me and it I don't know I just felt like I had bad luck I was very mad because um, we were going to be doing an activity inside the class and I was missing out on everything so I was pretty mad <sighs> so I'm sitting it out of while everybody else is having fun doing the activity I'm sitting inside the principal's office um, being asked many questions and I was pretty mad because of course I didn't do anything so I'm just like sitting here like okay is she done talking so I'm shaking my leg because I don't have anything to say she's like why are you shaking your leg for and I was like because I'm pretty mad because I'm not even supposed to be in here I didn't do anything she was like so um she's like okay so we're going to reenact everything that happened she pulls out 10 students that were witnesses and the girl, my friend, I'm going to quote this because I honestly at this point I didn't even know if she was my friend because I got in trouble for something I didn't do. Um, so yeah, we all sat down where we were sitting at, which was in the back of the lunchroom, in the very back. And they were like saying, okay, you know, everybody's playing the instruments, having us act this out like it was um, a movie or something, I don't know. Like we're in theater class, like no, no. I don't understand, this isn't a crime scene. I'm not going to act this out, but it's whatever. So they're like, okay, so you guys are all sitting here. Everyone's watching. There's side conversations going on. And you tell said your brother's doing really good. She's like, no, that's not what you said. Everybody, and they're like, that's not what you said, Deja. That's not what you said. I'm like, what are you talking about? I know what came out my mouth. I know what I said. I said that her brother did very good. And everybody's like, you told her brother needed to take a chill pill. Why would I say that about a special kid? Why would I have anything against a kid with autism? Why would I tell my friend whose brother has autism that their brother needs to take a chill pill. Do you get it? Cause I don't. So I'm like, hold on. That is not what I said. I never said that. And then they're like, oh yeah, that's what you said. I said, um, out of all people that were talking, I did not say that. Maybe it was someone else in the class. Maybe it was Gabe. Cause Gabe always says like slick stuff. There's got, it was a long story too but I was like maybe it was Gabe maybe it was Jordan I, it wasn't me because I didn't say it and then they're like well that's what we all heard you say we all heard you say it and I'm like okay I didn't say it so therefore I didn't do anything and I don't know why I'm here right now we all go back up to the classroom the principal lets me go back to the class because obviously I said I didn't do anything but everyone else is saying me anything, so I guess she like, gave up on the case for that little minute um the next day we were going to be having a Christmas party and guess who could not participate 
I could not participate for the Christmas party and I had to sit into the principal's office for the, um, during the Christmas party or like during for like the whole day of school, I was in the principal's office and the desk playing towards the wall. Um, and I guess the teacher felt bad for me and she called and asked for me to come down to the class so that way I can um, and participate and eventually go back to the principal's office. So yeah, that was my day and that's what sucked. Um, for my punishment, uh, along with sitting in the principal's office, I had to go down with my friend to go um, help out the special kids. And honestly, that is not a punishment because I was there every day regardless. So I, I enjoyed myself. I was like, okay, we're gonna help the special kids, yay. And honestly, I told the girl I was sorry. I said, I'm sorry for every, whatever I did. And I understand you're watching out for your brother, and that's um, one of the closest things you have because they were twins. Um, I said, I understand, you know, that's your brother, and you guys are twins and all, and you're watching out for him. But I didn't say anything. I don't know what I said, but I'm sorry for whatever I did. I apologized, and, you know, of course she told the principal because, you know, fifth grade, everybody tells um, the teachers and principals everything. And yeah, and, uh, they used that against me because I said, oh, maybe you did do it or whatever. But after that day, it was no longer talked about. They called my mom. My mom even asked me if I did it and I told her no. So everything was cleared up after a while. Everyone just disregarded it and we went on for the rest of our year. And that was the story of getting in trouble for something I didn't do. Yeah, um, may not be that big of a story, but it's just like, seriously, why? But yeah, that's the story of my life and yeah, just make sure during events like that you always um, just stay to yourself because you know, you never know. Because um, some people, I don't know if it's you or me, but a lot of people hear things that they want to hear or everybody's always going to be pointing you for things that maybe you may have not done. So just be aware. That's the logic of my story, basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys liked this video and you liked to see more story times, like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more the different things like this. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Zero problems, big fella. Yep. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your life.